All right, we're back with forward Dominic Baji. We'll start with his general thoughts on the game tonight, then go to questions. Overall, um, it was an okay game. Uh, disappointing, of course, to drop points at home. Um, but a few positives to take from it. Um, I think on any other night um, going forward, we would definitely connect on a lot more of those passes and a lot more of those crosses, and this game would be a lot more than 1-1. All right, we'll go to questions. Sorry, Matt Powder, last word on soccer. Hey, Tom, thanks for the time. Uh, got your first goal back at home, got your first goal off of a set piece. I know that's something the club's emphasized in recent years. What's it been like working with Sharpie, working with the other forwards to be effective on recent starts and corners? Thank you. It's been, it's been great. Um, you know, I've worked with Sharpie before, so I know a lot of his offensive schemes. Um, right before that corner, actually, he changed up my run. Um, and so a couple seconds after he told me to change it up, I scored. So thank you, Sharpie. Um, but working with all the attacking coaches, you know, Woldy, Chris, uh, Embers, all of them, honestly, just keeping me sharp and ready for this moment, and I made the most of it. Go to Connor Cape, L2 Sports Radio. Dom, you get put into the lineup uh, a little later than usual, probably, last minute almost. What was the discussion like before you came in? And what does it take to be focused in a moment like that when you think you're not going to be getting the start and then you end up getting it? Um, having played in this league for this long, I know things change last minute. And so whenever I'm on the bench, I'm, I'm always ready to get the call. Um, not much really needed to be said. Um, Robin uh, let me know that I was starting. I was ready to go. Uh, when I came in, you know, went over some offensive schemes, set pieces, defensive duties. But after that, it was just go out and do what I've been doing since I've been here. Uh, Robin trusted me to to um, stick to the game plan and get it done, and I was able to execute that. Go to Brian Jennings, Burgundy Wave. Thanks, Tom. Good to see you out there tonight. Um, especially in the first half, I thought, you know, you were getting in some good spots in the box. A lot of you know some some nice balls coming in from Johnny. Um, you know what were you kind of kind of spots where you looking to hit once? You know, it was obvious that that's where a lot of that was going to come from. <clears throat> the, the spots I was trying to get to it was the middle or the front post. Um, a lot of the crosses were on the ground, and so that's usually where the balls end up. Um, you know, unfortunate we didn't connect on any of those, but for me it's a positive that the crosses are there. Um, it takes relationships and uh, repetitions to get to get those connections. I haven't really played much with Johnny or Mikey, and so I think the more we play, the more connections we have, and the more naturally those crosses will turn into goals. Hey, Brian, with the follow-up? Thanks. Thanks again, Dom. Um, second half, I mean, did that, did that change a little bit? I, you know, kind of seemed a little more of a a little more of a counter type look for you, you know, kind of playing out of that that mid and making runs. But what, what kind of changed or did it? I guess. Um, yeah, that's just what the game gave. It wasn't our offensive plan. Um, it's just the way it's set up. A lot of our chances came from them committing numbers and the ball breaking and us having two, three players to attack. Um, I take our forwards in regards to speed over anybody. Mikey's got speed. Jay Lou's got speed. I've got speed, and so when we see opportunities to take off, we, we try to make the most of it. Um, unfortunate that we didn't connect on any, but um, it's a positive. Everybody likes it, uh, exciting attacking football, and so we'll definitely capitalize on, on those chances. Thanks, Tom. Go back to Matt. Um, you know, it's a bit of a bittersweet night, you know, obviously an improved performance compared to what happened on Saturday, especially improved if we talk about the last time these two teams played, you know, you guys could have clinched a playoff spot and gave up a lead, you know, how, you know, is it, uh, what's the, what was the mood in the locker room in terms of that bittersweet sweet aspect? Yeah, <coughs> excuse me. It's tough. Uh, I think we, you always expect to win at home because uh, the, the away games are so hard. Um, and so, especially being up in front and 
conceding a goal, it kind of ruins the, the celebrations we would have had in the, in the locker room. Um, points are tight right now. The table's real tight, and so this is three points that we really needed. And so there wasn't much celebrating. Um, kind of somber because we know that we let one slip. And so it's one of those that we're just have to get over and, and look forward to making the most of it against Portland. Right there. Thanks, everyone.